Sorry. All right. Okay. Hi, I'm Sunny Williams, part of the Expedition 14 crew, living and working up here on the International Space Station. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for India Abroad for inviting me to this celebration this evening. It's quite an honor to be part of a community of Indian Americans, and even more overwhelming to be considered a representative of the things that you stand for, peace, cooperation, and the freedom to dream. I feel extremely honored and privileged to be living on the International Space Station because it epitomizes the values that you stand for. So I think it would be most fitting if I take you on a little tour of our house to show you what humans can do when they work together. Is it too fast? So here we are in the U.S. laboratory. Its name is Destiny. It's our destiny to explore and understand, and that's what we do here. We investigate microgravity effects on the human body, plants, materials, and fluids, just for an example. This module will also be the keystone to additional laboratories which, which will be added, added in the next year. Let's continue on. Going aft, we enter this pinkish module, which we call Unity. It's the piece that connects the U.S. segment to the Russian segment. It's a symbol of the unity of two previously opposed countries now working together to the starboard or right side of unity is our airlock which we call quest it represents our quest to, to challenge the limits even further to venture out into the vacuum of space as you can see our spacesuits in the foreground and further outboard is the hatch in which we go out into space. From here we challenge ourselves and take risks to further our processes and theories. Now if we come back into the node and then continue on aft we will go into what I called earlier the Russian segment, which was uh, the first um, part that was uh, flown into space. This first part, as we're going aft, is Zarya. As you can see, we're heading into the light. Zarya means sunrise Zarya was the first module of the International Space Station symbolizing a renewed spirit of cooperation in space adventure Today she's a little bit like a closet and holds all of our food and some of our supplies. As we continue aft toward the next Russian module, we're going to take a quick stop at Piers. Piers is a Russian word and an English word, which essentially means pier or dock. almost flew by it. Piers is right below me, right here. This is where we will welcome the next inhabitants of the space station who will carry on this adventure and where we will depart from to come back to Earth.
Then on to the last module, which is sort of like our living compartment. And finally, we're in uh, Svezda. In Russian, that means star. This is our living compartment. It's where we spend time together as a joint crew, people from all over the world, eating together, talking together. As a star, the International Space Station is a constant symbol of the sky, in the sky above the Earth, to remind us of what humans can do when they work together. When we look out the window and see our unbelievably beautiful planet, the idea of being one, working, playing, and living together just seems right. Maybe you want to look. Thank you for sharing your time with me this evening as we honor all the people who have helped bridge the gap between cultures and differences in the world. And right now, we're starting to fly over India. We're coming from uh, the west, from the Pakistan area, and coming right into India. Come take a look. Oh yeah, all right, come here, come here. And this area right here is Saurastra, and there's Ahmedabad, where my father lived. Right to the, to the right of the view. And then we're coming right over central India. I don't know if you could see the inlet over there of the Sarastra. Dunk. So this is the middle of India and I usually describe it as very colorful because it's green and pink. Very nice lakes. V very nice lakes and rivers. some fields and elephants <laughs> central India right now we're looking for the Taj Mahal it's hard to see <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> As always, by the way. Yeah, it is. It's a huge contrast between China and India. And Himalaya is a border. Yeah. Between very clean and transparent air right. and slightly foggy. Foggy. Here in India. I don't know. Maybe it was humidity in there. Yeah. South. It's pretty though, purpley looking now, purple and darker green. There's a huge city. Oh, there's a big city right there, yeah. What is that? Let's see. Let me get a little That's Hyderabad. Coming up on Hyderabad, that's the big city right there. You can see cities, they're a little bit more gray. You can see it right on the river, right there. Oh, the mountains on the right. This should be Madrid on the east side looking for the big city. It's probably the one right below in the cove. Right there. Well, that was quite a treat to fly over India. What nice timing. <laughs> 